outside corner with pressure sensitive elastiform flashing, U15C option one. Sometimes Carlisle's pressure sensitive inside outside corners are not large enough to complete a corner detail, such as a curb flange that is over three inches wide. In these cases, this detail will provide sufficient coverage. This detail uses two layers of nine inch by nine inch pressure sensitive elastiform flashing. Cut two pieces of nine inch by nine inch elastiform and round the corners. Apply EPDM primer to the corner of the curb. Allow the primer to dry until it passes the tack and push test. Pay particular attention to the angle change when conducting the test. Make sure the primer passes the test prior to installing the elastiform. Fold the flashing in half and find the center of the flashing. Center the flashing on the deck at the outside corner. Keep the flashing approximately a half inch away from the angle change. Roll increase the elastiform into the angle change and roll the flashing up the curb. Hand wipe the flashing to ensure contact. Measure over two inches and cut straight down. Do not wrap more than two inches of elastiform around the corner. Do not cut off the excess elastiform. It must splice over the curb wrap deck flange. Form the elastiform around the corner using a rolling action of your thumb. Set the remaining flashing to the curb. Roll the area with a two inch wide roller. Pay special attention to any step offs by creasing the elastiform with the roller. Apply primer to the corner again and allow to dry by passing the tack and push test. Fold the second piece of flashing in half. Center the flashing on the deck at the outside corner. Keep the flashing approximately a half inch away from the angle change. Roll increase the elastiform into the angle change and roll the flashing up the curb. Hand wipe the flashing to ensure contact. Measure over two inches and cut straight down. Do not wrap more than two inches of elastiform around the corner. On this second piece, cut off the excess elastiform. In cold temperatures, heat the elastiform flashing with a heat gun to the point of being hot to the touch, but will not burn your fingers. Form the elastiform around the corner using a rolling action of your thumb. Set the remaining flashing to the curb. Roll the area with a two inch wide roller. Pay special attention to any step offs by creasing the elastiform with the roller.